COVID-19 has left significant mark on Manitoba. The COVID-19 pandemic has put some additional pressure on the province's finances, but the province's economic report for the first quarter of 2021-2022 indicates it may be on the road to recovery. The province detailed how federal COVID-19 transfers reduced the deficit by almost $34 million, dropping it from $1.59 billion to $1.56 billion, with the large debt load largely due to money earmarked for COVID-19 response. The past 18 months uh, have been the most significant health and financial challenge or even crisis, I would suggest, uh, really in the last century. The province's economy took a hit during the pandemic, with real gross domestic product dropping by 4.8% in 2020. However, the province is projecting a turnaround for the coming year, with real GDP expected to jump by 4.9%. Uh, the worst economic recession really in modern history. The province is also seeing improvements in terms of unemployment, seeing the lowest rate of unemployment amongst the provinces at 5.7 percent compared to the provincial average of 7.1 percent. Uh, Manitoba is seeing a strong rebound in job creations this year. The provincial labour market has nearly returned to pre-pandemic levels. Fielding also noted while the province's economy appears to be getting stronger, government has not taken its focus off of pandemic response. While 60 percent of Manitoba's $1.2 billion COVID-19 contingency fund has been assigned. The remaining $462 million is ready for whatever the pandemic may bring. Uh, we're well prepared to, uh, to address the fourth wave. The opposition NDP says the government of Manitoba has missed the mark when it comes to spending and should be focused more on things like health care, education and affordable housing. NDP finance critic Mark Wasilawu says the PC government needs to do more supporting rural and northern municipalities, claiming government is withholding funding for community revitalization projects, which the NDP says are desperately needed. In a statement, the opposition explained Manitobans are tired of waiting for this PC government to focus on what they need. It's time for a government that invests in the projects and services that help families and make our community stronger. However, while the government has seen the deficit drop due to federal transfers, a spokesperson with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation says the province needs to get its books in order quickly. The government has its own fiscal mess. And so for province to rely on money bags from Ottawa coming in and saving the day, um, that's going to stop because the, the, the federal government can't keep spending what they don't have the same way the province does. That's why they need to get their books in order, have a balanced budget fast and start to get their own house in order to just like taxpayers have throughout this pandemic. He says the fact the province is still running such a high deficit shows it may not have been keeping pace financially with the regular working citizen. The pandemic has increased the costs for everyone. And every family has had to find ways to save money, and the government of Manitoba needs to find ways to save money too. The province of Manitoba wants to balance its budget in eight years and bring that deficit to zero. And it's a goal that Scott Fielding, finance minister, says is very realistic. However, for Lacey and the Taxpayers Federation, they say the timeline for the goal is much too long, as every year that interest is paid on that debt, it's money that could and should be put to public resources. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.